morning my sweet friends my name is Jessica Savage and I would like to welcome you back to my channel I hope you guys are ready for some serious serious cleaning motivation because I got a lot of it for you today in this video we'll be doing a deep clean in my kitchen because it's been long overdue and it's just a huge mess in here you can see that with just the dishes that I'm cleaning up right now <laughs> I'll literally be cleaning everything from top to bottom to get this kitchen looking spotless. So again, lots of motivation, lots of inspiration, and just non-stop cleaning for you guys. So you can either sit back and relax while sipping on your second cup of coffee, or you can get off your butt and clean along with me. <laughs> so come on, if you're ready to tackle this mess with me, let's get started. I wanted to start off by just saying that for my existing subscribers, I really appreciate you guys and I'm very thankful of you supporting my channel. You truly make my day with your love, likes, and comments. It really gets me motivated, more inspired, and just overall work harder to bring some good content to you guys. So I just wanted to say that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being a part of my channel and our lovely YouTube family. This is such a great community and it has really made me grow so much, learn a lot from you guys, and found some true, genuine friendships through here. So thank you for that. Love the ladies who have stuck with me on my journey and have supported me through a lot of my struggles. However, I'm so thankful of the new lovely friendships I'm making along the way. Oh gosh, sorry about my lighting cutting in and out like that in the kitchen. Ah, there's a certain time of the day that I have to film, but it's like a 50-50 chance on possibly getting a dark spot and just because of the kitchen skylight that shines through the roof. Why there is a skylight in our kitchen, I have no idea, but when it shines just right at that certain time of day, my camera can catch it and then it reflects on the white, reflects off of the camera and then creates a dark spot. It is annoying. Well, hopefully that won't happen again, so just bear with me. As for my new subscribers, hi you guys. Again, my name is Jessica Savage and I'm a stay-at-home mom to three awesome kids. Our oldest is Christopher, which is 13 years old. Our daughter Alyssa, she's 10 years old and she'll be turning 11 next month. And then our youngest son is Dylan, which is six years old. Both of the boys have a birthday in May, so then they'll be 14 and seven. You guys, the time goes by so fast with these kids. Next school year, Christopher is going to high school. Yes, oh my gosh, Alyssa will then be going to middle school. And then Dylan will be in second grade. Don't you just want to cry? Ah, hold your kids tight because before you know it, they'll be asking for a car. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to me. So besides being a stay-at-home working mom, I'm a wife of 14 years to my high school sweetheart Chris and we own a little farm out back with chickens, ducks, and goats. So we're definitely having so much fun around here and we're always kept real busy. Okay, so you guys saw what I was pouring into the anchor jar, right? For those who have been following me for a while would know, <laughs> a lot of folks have had questions about my animal jars on the counter. I've gotten a lot of comments on TikTok as well for folks who have noticed it. Yes, I'm literally pouring dried mealworms into my anchor jar. 
There's nothing wrong with that. It's just my preference. <laughs> They're dead in a jar on this counter. And this corner was an easy little farmhouse area to prepare the meals for my chickens and ducks. And with my pantry out of order during our renovation, why not have it here? So that's what that is and it honestly doesn't bother me at all. What's funny is that a lot of people thought it was pretzels or crushed up graham crackers. <laughs> I was like, what? Anyways, once our pantry is back in order, I'll probably be moving those jars into the pantry so I can have a little more counter space. I'll make sure to create a section in the pantry just for my animals. So again, for those who are new, I'm really happy to have you here. If you love cleaning, decluttering, organizing, our lifestyle, makeovers, renovations, and the farm life, then you're in the right place and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to get to know each and every one of you and we have so much motivating content for you on a weekly basis, so don't miss it. Then after you've subscribed, I'd love for you to head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, and follow us there too. Lots of inspiring photos and we share lots of stories on IG of our lifestyle and a lot of the farm life. Plus, if you go follow me now, you'll see lots of videos of our new baby goat. Oh, I know, they're just like a dog, but even better. <laughs> Again, I'm so glad to have you guys here. If you're curious as to what I'm doing to the eggs, I'm doing what is called the FIFO method. First in, first out. It's like when you're restocking the shelves at work. You're not just going to stock the shelves, are you? Right? No. You're going to put in the newest egg in the back and bring the oldest one to the front. Plus my eggs were starting to overflow so I thought I would go ahead and take care of those and get them washed to put them in the refrigerator. There was literally so much stuff and crumbs on the counters. That's why I wanted to start there first after I cleaned up the dishes in the kitchen. I wanted to remove everything off of the counters to have a clear space to work with before I started to clean the cabinets. As I mentioned earlier to you guys that I was going to start from top to bottom. So as you can see, I won't be wiping down the counters as of yet. It just wouldn't make sense to wipe them down and then here I am climbing back up with my dirty socks. Which reminds me, someone asked me why do I always wear socks in my videos? Well, 
it makes my feet feel clean. <laughs> I feel clean and I cannot stand to feel or walk on a dirty floor because then it's stuck to my feet. Sure, it would still be stuck to the sock, but not my feet and it wouldn't annoy me. <laughs> so that's why I wear socks so the dirt and crumbs don't stick to my feet and I can focus on cleaning. Then maybe, maybe after I vacuum, I'll remove my socks, but then possibly put them back on in an hour because the floor is dirty all over again. cabinets right on the top with the caked on dust. That's what I'm cleaning off of each cabinet. Ugh. You guys, I was very surprised by the dirt on the top lip of these cabinets. It was like sticky stuck on goo. It's almost like if you kept touching something repeatedly with your fingertips, then the residue, the sweat, and the dirt would accumulate and stick to what you just touched. Well, that was that on top of these cabinets. I'm not even that tall to touch up there. So my only thought was the heat, the dust, and the moisture that creates that. But I was definitely shocked at what I had cleaned up there. Skip the innocence. So, who has deep cleaned their kitchen? Or are you doing it now? Or are you thinking about it? Am I helping y'all getting motivated to do it? Or are you feeling a little intimidated because of how much work it's going to be? I'm not going to lie, this was not easy. I wasn't looking forward to it either, but as soon as I got started, I knew that I had to finish it. Plus, Chris's mom was coming to visit, and I had to get this kitchen put back together. I didn't want her walking into a war zone where it looked like my children threw a bomb in it. <laughs> so no excuses. It had to be done, and how much of y'all are cringing watching me walk around on these counters? You better believe I was going slow and I'm wearing my socks. Oh my gosh. Like I said, it had to get done and someone had to do it. And I'm so glad that I did because doing deep cleans like this make you feel real good.
Was curious if you guys have noticed different sounds here and there for certain things that can be absolutely satisfying or just simply relaxing to watch just for a few extra seconds. Yes, yes, I did that for y'all. I guess you can call it a little bit of kitchen ASMR. <laughs> And here I thought, when I got this stove, it was the best thing ever. Well, cleaning wise, it's definitely a lot more work than you think. You have to pull the coils, remove the traps, clean the stove, and then have to open up the top to clean underneath the stove and the sides. So, I told Chris I want that new glass top surface stove. <laughs> Did y'all hear about that story on how Chris got trapped into getting me a new stove real soon? <laughs> well. Story time. He took me down the aisle of Home Depot and said, I want you to look at these stoves. Mind you, I had no care. I was honestly really happy with the stove that I have right now until I saw the stove top, the glass surface top. I was done, sold. When can I take it? It was too funny, but as you can see that this is a little more work and the steps that I have to take instead of simply just using a cleaner or using a razor blade and then wiping it down. Which reminds me, you're going to see more satisfying stuff here in a minute, so I hope you guys are enjoying this clean with me so far.
You see what I mean? Absolutely satisfying, relaxing, and that's how the top of my stove should be. <laughs> I believe this is the first time that y'all have finally gotten to see me deep clean this stove too. It's been long overdue and so far I'm so glad I've been able to clean what I need to in this kitchen. Everything in here needed a good clean. It just amazes me how dishes are never ending in this household. Literally after I've cleaned the first round by placing it in the dishwasher, I then have a second round after collecting around the kitchen and then a third round can be everything that I literally have to wash by hand. Then after all of that cleaning, it literally can fill back up again cooking a meal for the family. I won't complain though because I can literally do dishes all day with no problem. It's laundry that I dread the most because when I do my kids laundry, I'm literally on a never ending fold or at least that's what it seems like. However, to help myself and to help me get through what I need to do, I just tell myself, you can do it, you've done it before and you can do it again, you're a mom boss and you'll get this done.
So now that all the dishes and the traps for the stove are clean, I'm now going to wash all of the chicken eggs. Let them drip dry for a little bit while I wash the bowl and then stick them in the refrigerator. The benefits to owning all of these animals is priceless, you guys. I don't have to buy eggs, I don't have to buy milk, and you can do quite a bit of meals with eggs, and I can make cheese. <laughs> it's a wonderful experience. Never in my life did I ever think I would own a farm, but here I am and it all started with six chickens. <laughs> I am who I'm meant to be I am who I'm meant to be Over and out Over and out Again My future needed clarity So I could see How you Doubted all that I could do Knowing what I need to do All I can say The word is thank you I think it's what you need to put Away from the shore Amongst the waves Exactly where I wanna be I am where I wanna be Remember the start Remember the start When my future needed clarity Yes, I needed clarity So I could see How it I believe this is the first video with my new sink in it, right? I believe so. What do you guys think of it? I'm absolutely in love with it and I can't get over how large it is. I'm glad we were able to make this change to this full bucket and drop sink. I can literally fit all of my dishes in here with no problem and even lay my biggest pan flat in here. That's what sold me. I loved my other sink 
but it was uh, a just for now purchase since I couldn't find the one until now. The divider was nice, but now I can see why women drooled over a large open sink. This sink we got from Home Depot and it was by Krauss and it was the complete set that came with the nozzle and all of the items in the sink from the rack, the cover, and the strainer on the inside. If anyone is planning on changing their sink, get something like this. This is a must and I'll be sure to leave the link down in my description box below. This stuff right here is wonderful. It's by Wayman and it's the stainless steel cleaner spray. It really makes my sink shine, seals the sink from any other water stains and gives it a good clean and polish. Got it from Home Depot so I'll be sure to leave a link for it as well. However, look at the overall beauty that it gave to my sink. Absolutely love it.
guys, we're almost there. Are you still with me? All I have left now is the bottom of cleaning all of the cabinets, the appliances, vacuuming, and then mopping the floor. Then we can all call it a day. However, I wanted to ask you guys if you ever noticed my kitchen doors. I honestly never realized it until about a month ago or maybe a little longer, but now I understand why my kitchen looks so dingy and yuck sometimes, even after a good clean. It's my cabinets. My cabinets are in eggshell white on top of white. Ugh, who puts that over white with blue counters? <laughs> Well, Chris and I will be having another project on our hands real soon since we now own a brad nailer and a miter saw. We'll be creating new farmhouse kitchen cabinet doors and they're going to be white with black stainless steel knobs. Can you see it? I most certainly can and I cannot wait to share this makeover with you guys because Lord knows that this kitchen needs it and the floor needs to be changed too. Too much yellow in here it looks like.
You guys, we're done. Wow, that was some serious cleaning. I hope you got a ton of motivation and inspiration from this because it was non-stop cleaning from top to bottom. I told you we were going to be kept busy, so I hope you got a lot done today and you were able to finish what you needed to get done in your home. Thank you so much for watching, cleaning along with me, and supporting me on my channel, you guys. It truly means a lot to me. Remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up before you leave, and head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, give us a follow there as well we'd love to have you over there and to get to know each and every one of you so i guess i will see you again right back here with a brand new video bye you guys